hi guys uh, welcome to another uh, tutorial of mysql replication course uh, today we'll be studying about the orchestrator uh, what is orchestrator uh, it's a replication topology manager and visualization tool uh, it is uh, built by shalomi okay uh, he uh, he is currently i guess uh, uh he was working in github uh, and he was the guy uh, it's actually it's an open source project and it's free for uh, it's free to use uh, and it's a community uh open source project and people are develop working on it and the main developer who was working on this uh, his name is uh, uh, shalomi notch and uh, recently he announced that uh, he will not be contributing to, to this uh software anymore uh, I don't know for what reason I guess uh, uh, maybe he, he has been uh, involved in this uh, community for so long maybe 30 40 years and I guess uh, he uh, he didn't mention that till which date he will not be uh, like contributing to this so for, uh, at least uh, he told the guys who is uh, like the companies who is using this uh, tool for their topology management and for the failover so actually orchestrator does that it uh, does the failover uh, automatic failover and manual failover and so many other thing it does so he told that you guys can use their own fork and develop and um, and uh, use it for your own so that is uh, actually it is now fully managed uh, it is in full use at github okay github use uh, it uh, at the very last scale and uh, all of their uh, databases are uh, like failure and any other the monitoring mostly and alert detection like any failure happening uh, that has been detected by their uh, orchestrator so uh, orchestrator is a very good tool uh, actually it what it does that it automatically discover all the uh, replication topology and uh, it says very easily can like uh, you can uh, just by one command you can discover your whole topology uh, and it's uh, how it does like uh, it's uh, read the uh, show slay status and the configuration uh, and the configuration of your slaves and uh, from there it detects that uh, what is the configuration of my uh, replication topology so uh, actually this is how uh, for uh, like uh, master like the uh, source and the two replica uh, topology uh, this is how your architecture will look like uh, if you see here this is orchestrator and it has a backend uh, mysql uh, database either it is a you can use a mysql database or you can use a sql light database by default it comes with the sql light database or you can use your uh, mysql database as well for this course i will be using mysql database okay uh, what is actually happening here is that orchestrator is a single server uh, it's a separate server okay and on the same server i will have the mysql database for the backend uh, backend uh, for its backend where uh, orchestrator will save all the information it requires to display you on the uh, web portal which is it's a virtual uh, like virtual GUI from where you can control or you can uh, you can also use the uh, cli uh, api from where you can execute the command like it's a command line tool which is called orchestrator client and then uh, orchestrator have the configuration file if you see here this orchestrator uh, configuration json file where you provide all the configurations okay like uh, what is the backend user password and what is the uh, password on the source side uh, which orchestrator will use and it will like uh, discover all the topology and it will like keep uh, trying to keep its uh, like orchestrator will try to keep itself sync with the uh, replication topology so if anything happening uh, then it will get the error or something like that any like uh, issue happen so it you can get it from there or uh, orchestrator like use that user uh, for all the kind of management like failover or uh, you want to promote one uh, like you want to bring replica one under replica two or you want to bring under replica two under replica one or you want to promote any node or any failover uh, a lot of things you can do with this so uh, this is how it's look like uh, the basic architecture and once you like uh, discover your topology uh, this is how this is an example uh, our uh, once we do uh, our configuration our will look like this one so we will have one master and two replica this one have one master and four replica but we will have like one master and two replica so this is how it looks okay so you can do the drag and drop okay like you uh, click 
pick this one and uh, take it to uh, the back back of the uh, the first one so you take the a79d and take it to back of the instant 5111 then like it change the uh, topology so that is how it easy like uh, this is how you can change the whole topology of your uh, replication so this is how you this is why it is very useful software for uh, using you for like managing your MySQL topology or any failover or something like that uh, and you have a say like command as well we will get into that uh, in the practical section once we configure our uh, conf uh, configure our uh, orchestrator okay so let's say uh, you click on this one like the setting okay and then what you get is that you get this okay so like uh, you if you want to take the uh, database uh, like to you want the instant to like downtime so let's say you uh, take the begin downtime then let's say if the database fails or if the server fails then then orchestrator will not complain about it because it has set to the uh, it has set it to the downtime you can do it everything from the cli as well but this is a gui for the people who want to use the gui gui uh, gui so if you can see here instance alias uh, last screen all that so this is something we will describe we will, uh, i will show you how to use this and this is a replica numbers how many replica it has like it is the master server so it has two replicas and all that this is the server uid the server id server uid version if it is read only or not okay set as read only so you click and it you set it to read only but it is the master one so it is false and has uh, hash binary and all that what is the uh, binary log format it's a row and full and log slave update yes true uh, you should have log slave update okay in case you want to uh, bring one replica under another replica you should have log slave update so like any config uh, any binary log uh, whatever is in the relay log now once it apply into the uh, sql when sql thread apply into the database so it should be like uh, written into the binary log of the replica so that is why you need a log slave update uh, this is required when you are going for a chain replica uh, so that is why so the intermediate master uh, which is a slave as well and the master to the another slave so it requires log slave updates gtid supported yes if it is a gtid based application it will say yes if it is not then uh, it will say uh, false and all that uh, okay uh, you can also say that uh, gtid mode on you have another one uh, s like uh, one variable which is get pseudo gtid uh, which is used for let's say you have a binary bin uh, like a binary log replication uh, and you don't want to use the gtid but uh, what orchestrator does is that you enable the pseudo gtid uh, and then uh, you use that uh, what it does that it in like uh, the orchestrator like use a unique uh, id with each transaction so based on that it can easily uh, track uh, when it track the like the position and all that transaction when it is trying to do the failover so it can easily do the failover so that it helps so this is the cluster name uh, if you say test one so this is the cluster name agent and all that uptime and if you have uh, if it is uh, semi synchronous uh, semi sync infos and all that you can also enable semi synchronous replication using the G uh, this orchestrator and all that so but that i will do uh, once we uh, once we jump into this configuration and all that uh, it is going to be a good uh, a presentation of the orchestrator so stay tuned and watch the whole tutorial thank you so much